A fire burned an apartment building in Crosby Friday afternoon and left at least eight people displaced a week before the Thanksgiving holiday. Our reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Kimberly Punche was sitting in her apartment Friday afternoon when all of a sudden she saw smoke pour through the vents in her room. So I ran in the hallway and it was just black smoke all through my hallway and I saw I like freaking out where's it coming from. And the fire started in the first floor of the fourplex apartment building in downtown Crosby and spread fast. Is this starting quick? Really quick. Around 50 firefighters from the Crosby, Brainerd and Deerwood Fire Departments battled the blaze that took hours to contain. Everyone was able to make it out unharmed, including Punche's blind mother. It was scary because I was asleep when my daughter come down, uh, hollering, uh, get up, there's a fire. I got my mom out of the door and I just pushed her all the way around the building. Although everyone made it out safe, the family lost all their possessions in the blaze. I went off everything, sure. plus clothes, I lost my billfold, my driver license in it, I lost some money. The Panche family is currently staying in a hotel and credit the community for helping them in their time of need. I got like at least 50 people asking me, you know, what can we help? How can we help? And it's been amazing. Thank God for friends and, and people that we don't even know are, are, you know, helping us. Though nothing was able to be saved in the fire, the family is just thankful that no one was hurt. We, we made it out okay and, you know, what we lost was just materials to things, you know. We're just excited, you know, for the next step in our life. Sorry it had to happen this way to lose all of our stuff, but I, like I told my kids that all of that's replaceable, you know, and as long as we have each other and we can get through anything. Right, guys? Yeah. Reporting from Crosby, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. The cause of the fire is currently under investigation by the state fire marshal. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.